This is Mark from eBay. This, uh, oh shit, you can't see it. But anyway, that's the uh, UV5R software, the Bofang software. This is the uh, Chirp software. I use this to uh, program both the Bofang radios and the Wuxin radios from the same information. So, but just for just to show you, this is the uh, actual UV5R software. Here we'll do an experiment. Here are the four radios. That's the four radios that um, that I bought from you. And these okay. are. Uh, we had another. What, four man go by too, wasn't it? Yeah, four man and I guess a double duck. Shit, let me turn. Oh, I thought I had these turned around. Fuck. Somebody needs to add to the bottom because all three buses is up here. Yeah, all right. whoever is going to the bottom needs to make sure that the empty photo cards get to Gwen. I guess she's low on them and I don't know how that is. Alright, here we go. Okay, so. Sorry. All right, and all these that the lights just came up on just now, that's the Wuxin UV5Rs. And uh, I'm sorry, the Wuxin uh, UVD1P radios. There's three other of the UV5Rs. This is one of the uh, this is one of the new this is one of the new versions here. So it'll, we're going to program it also. And these are the same radios here, that, uh, the same as yours. All right, now I've got these programmed in at 136. So you can see those are all talking together. All right, now I don't know how I'm going to do this, but anyway, here's the cable here. I don't know how I'm going to. All right, so I'm going to grab this radio first. I'll go ahead and plug it in. Okay, and that's for one of the three down there. Now I'm going to do, set that right there. There's the cable. There's the mouse. There's the radio. The software. The communications port. It's COM4. That really doesn't matter because it's going to work. It's not going to work, I'm sorry. COM4, now. Program. Right to radio and right. Now this is what happens here. Failed to connect with transceiver. All right, cancel. Now let me swap to the next radio right here. Here's the ones plugged in right now. Here's the next one. Okay, now that cable's hooked up. Do the same thing. Program, right to radio. And right. And then we get the same error. Failed to connect with transceiver. Okay, so we'll swap this out with the next radio. Okay, now it's plugged in. So we say program, right to radio, right to radio, and we get the same error. Fail to connect with transceiver. Okay, clear that. And we hooked to the fourth radio. Since I, let's see, about four of them. All right, now plug this one in. It's plugged in all the way. Whoops. Turn the lights on on that side. So. Okay, that's the first four radios. One, two, three, four. We're plugged in the fourth one. Now, program, right to radio. Right. Same fail. Okay, now, without changing anything else, we're just going to hook this in. We're going to unplug it from here. And then we're going to move to the new version. This is a new version of the Wuxin radio. I'm sorry, the 
Bowfang Radio. All right, that's, oh shit, it won't work on that one. Yeah, it will. UV 5R. All right, program, right to radio, and right. And see that that's writing to the radio. Now, that's the new version. All right. You can tell it's programming. Okay, there it just got through. It rebooted. And then, as he wrote, damn it. Completed. Writing parameters to the transceiver. All right, so, okay, cancel. Now we'll go to the next one down here. We're not going to pull it out of the new version. And we're putting it into the next one here, which is the older version, the same model. It's the same model that uh, I bought from you, not the new version. So program, right to radio, and right and now you can tell it's programming and there's a radio it's writing to it you can see it's obviously writing to it Let me see if we can watch it reboot when it's done it's finishing now now it's rebooting okay now so complete it's complete done now the chirp software because right now you see it's on Wuxin. I'm going to click over here and put it on Bofang. And then I'm going to say radio, upload to radio. And then there's COM4, Bofang UV5R. And that's where I'm at here, COM4, uh, Bofang UV5R. And then I'm going to say, okay, now you can tell that it's writing and it's writing now it'll program all my radios except for these other four for whatever reason it's almost finished and it's rebooting okay and then now this is all using the same cable all right now we're going to go to the uh, we're going to go to the Whoops, and U UVD1P. Can you see that? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, UVD1P. All right, so now we go back up here. Now we're going to click on the next, the Wuxin one. Then we're going to say radio, upload to radio. COM4, you can see the COM4 Wuxin. Click on OK. Start to write. You can see that it's writing the green light at the top, and then we'll watch it's almost finished. Now it reboots. <coughs> now I could program this other one also. I might as well program it now here, and then we'll grab the next one. Sorry about. Film being so shaky, I didn't have any kind of. Don't do. Okay, radio. Upload to radio. Okay, you see it starting to write. Here it's starting to write here. Almost done. Getting there anyway. And it's rebooting. Okay, so we've programmed this radio, this radio, and this radio, this radio, this radio, which is the new version, and then your four, one, two, three, four. Your four radios, one, two, three, four. Don't program. Now, don't ask me why. I'm confused, but I did do the downloads that you asked me to download, and I went in and uh, updated the software. Control panel. Let's uh, 
hardware and sound, whoops, and then device manager, and then COM ports. Here's the COM ports here. Uh, I had this working to begin with, by the way, but there's the uh, prolific USB to serial COM port on COM4, and then we'll right click on it and say properties. Device is working properly, you know, come. So, I don't know. You tell me what you think. I'm willing to try something else.